Are you serious? Are you serious? China, are you serious? Yu Yu is dead. That little two-year-old girl that got hit by that truck, van-type truck. Then the guy stopped after he hit her, realized he hit something, opened, looked out, seen the little girl laying there, so he went ahead and finished running her over and drove on. Then 18 people walked by this child without reaching out a hand of help. A bleeding, dying child. They walked right by. I mean, they almost stepped on her. They were so close. With little bicycles. Some of them were on bikes. Some were on scooters. Finally, a woman pulled the baby off the street. But not before 18 people walked by. And another vehicle run the child over for a second time. If I'm a little upset, if I seem a little angry, if I seem hurt, if I seem shocked, if I seem in despair, it's because I am. I'm going to read to you. There's two things I want to read. Can I read the news article first? I've got a, a verse to read to you from the Bible, but... The Chinese toddler, who was ignored by at least 18 passerbys as she lay bleeding and unconscious in the street, has died. The hospital treating her said Friday in an incident that has shocked the nation. The plight of the two-year-old girl, who they've nicknamed Yu Yu, captured the public imagination after surveillance camera footage showed her being knocked down first by a van, and then minutes, several minutes later by a small truck. At least 18 people were shown walking past the girl as she lay in the street, critically injured, finally before a female rubbish collector, a garbage lady, finally picked her up and moved her to the curb. Several passersby can be seen stopping to look down at the child before carrying on. And their failure to help her has triggered a speculation that the country's rapid development and urbanization has made people more selfish. No, I'll tell you what's caused them to have no heart. It's years of communism, years of forced abortions by the state of communist red China. It's years of no gospel, no Bible, no prayer. No hope, no faith. And all they've heard and been taught and been seen and examples they've been given has been simply the confusing message of Confucius. Now, the development and urbanization probably didn't help. They don't have a heart. I, I, you know what? Let's quit making excuses. These 18 people that walk by a bleeding, dying two-year-old child have no heart. The only thing in their chest is a beating gizzard, thumping, a thumping gizzard. There's no heart. There's no compassion. There's no, nobody cares. I'm going to try to keep this together today, but I don't know if I will. I just don't know if I will. I can imagine the Father himself sitting on his throne, Christ sitting at his right hand, and the souls of under the altar of God crying out day and night, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which is, which was, and which is to come. How long will thou not judge and avenge our blood upon the inhabitants of the earth? And this little child, is soul is under that altar right now. And she, little you, you, is saying to the Father, How much longer will you allow them to be there? How much longer will they get to live heartless? Murderous mentality. Millions of Chinese went online to watch the grainy footage of the incident, which took place on October the 13th, 2011, in a narrow market street in southern Chinese city of Foshan. 
China's hugely popular microblogs, something similar to Twitter, called Weibo's, uh, have buzzed with the incident since the video emerged, with many online commentators hailing the rubbish collector as the hero. They call her a rubbish collector, but she's, you know, she's the sanitation lady on the street. But there has also been much soul-searching about why both of the drivers, the, the van and the truck, who hit Yu Yu and the passers-by in China's wealthiest providence, why did they just walk by? Why did they choose to leave her for dead rather than to stop and help? The little girl's destiny made us ashamed because she left this world painfully due to our influence and our neglect. Oh, Lord. I mean, really. This was one of the commentators online after the hospital treating Yu Yu said that she had died. A commentator in Friday's Global Times Daily said that the incident had exposed the dark side of a Chinese society. Well, you know, the, the dark side's already there. Go ask the 11 pastors that were arrested on Easter Sunday because it was rumored they were going to hold a small church service in their homes. They're still in jail. Go ask the hundreds of Chinese Christians who were arrested because Bibles or pieces of Bibles or just pages of scriptures were found in their possessions in their backpacks or in their homes. No, if you want to talk about a dark side, go ask the Chinese leadership, communist regime of Red China, who has no regard for human life and has mandated a two-child policy upon every family in China. Two children is all you're allowed to have, and one of them, only one girl. If you have your first child's a girl, okay. If the second child's going to be a girl, she's to be aborted. That's mandatory, whether the people want it or not. I don't blame the women. I don't blame the families. They're being mandated. Murder! Jack Kevorkian has nothing on these people. Ted Bundy has nothing on these people. Muammar Gaddafi has nothing on these people. Adolf Hitler has nothing on these people. The communist regime of China. I'm not talking about the communist people. Listen to me very closely. The communist mentality of China, this evil diabolical thought process of ideology is nothing more than a murderous regime of hatred and lack of respect and regard for human life and existence. Jesus said it this way. Verily I say unto you, except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name, receiveth me. But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones, or run him over with a van, or hit him again with a truck, or walk by them while they're dying. It'd be better for him that a millstone was hanged around his neck and that he was drowned in the depths of the sea. Are you saved? Most people watching this video, this isn't what, how you would act. But then again, 18 consecutive random people, it's exactly how they acted. So some of you watching are probably shocked by it. I'm stunned. I'm literally shocked and stunned. And, and, but I also know that this is the mentality of the world. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's step on your neighbor when he's down. It's a world that's lost its soul. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, we have to be running out of time. There's no doubt. This is a Bible sign. Men's, so, because iniquity abounds, the love of many's wax cold, the Bible says. Give... Send me a message that you want to be saved. Just send it to my inbox right now. I want to be saved. Two people did yesterday. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Do it now. I'll be right back.